Uh, hello. Uh, it has been a while since I've done one of these videos. Um, main, it's mainly just been uploading three, because honestly, just had absolutely no time with GCC revision uh, and everything, well, not revision, but you know, as I completely forget to shift down and I go into fifth and run wide. But, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm breathing quite early, just some physical exercise. But uh, coming to the next session, this was my first lap, and I've done absolutely no practice for this whatsoever. I was just trying to get a clean lap as I said, a purple set, the one which I very much doubt is real, as I completely missed that, that apex and take a really stupid one there. But yeah, mainly it's just been revising for my, well, it's not actual GCCs, but it's uh, my mocks as I uh, get a massive jack of oversteer there. But uh, I've been moved down to tier two because. Um, I got bored of coming last in tier one, and uh, the pace is very, very good. Well, not in this race, but as you'll see, but uh, yeah. Uh, another bit of news is I have recently moved to uh, QBR, or Quarantine Boys Esports. Um, those guys are amazing. Uh, you, can't, you can't really say anything wrong about them. And this was a corner I was struggling with all day. I just could not get it right at all and it was just the definition of hell. But now coming to the last two corners, there's Luck who can win the championship this race um, if he finishes any higher than eighth or ninth with faster slap. Uh, he too has also moved, recently moved to QBR Esports and the difference in pace is pretty ridiculous. But now coming on to my actual lap, uh, my fastest lap of the session and open the DRS, trying to get a good exit, which I don't. Um, and then you move over to the right-hand side of the track for an uphill braking zone. You want to brake uh, just at the uh, black box. And I do hit that apex quite nicely. Uh, getting a whole heap of time, as you can see, because of my horrendous traction in fifth gear from that corner. I like coming into the S is quite jerky, that was there. So I missed that uh, third apex. Uh, and very jerky movements with the steering wheels. I miss. well, I hit it better than last time, which is a thing. And then I actually hit that apex there. And that one as well, but I don't get the greatest exit or exit speed. And minimum speed is also something I've been struggling with massively. So, um, yeah, hopefully uh, QBR can help me with that as well, because I just don't know how to do it. But that corner was actually quite nice as well. And coming into um, section two and three, which I was really struggling with over the weekend, just the whole weekend. Um, this, I mean, this corner... As you'll see, as I completely miss that apex and run wide for good measure, which is not something you want to do. I only, like, mastered that corner, like, when my hards were on 80%. But now, coming into the most loathed corner for me on the calendar, the double apex left, which I have done it before, but I got, um, yeah, again, towards the end of the race. Keeping it nice and tight towards the right. As uh, I get a bit of traffic, but it moves out the way very nicely. Uh, that, I pushed a bit more, but didn't really do anything with it. And currently 1.6 seconds up. Um, and what is this lap going to be? It's going to be a 32.2, which is five tenths faster than previous best. But now this is my last lap of the session, and I did I did fuel to go for two runs, uh, as I um, you'll see here. I invalidate the first one, um, and then I see I've got I have got some traffic coming up behind me, um, so I decided to move out of the way in the S section. Um, there is a guy, I think it's Flynn Esther as well, who's also moved out of the way. And um, there's one more car coming around and then I can rejoin the track. Uh, but as I rejoin the track, this and next lap invalidated. And as you can see, that is very, very frustrating for me. Um, which means, means I only qualified P15. But uh, we'll go medium to soft because... For me, the alternate strategy seems to be working very well around GXL Tier 1, actually giving me some pace towards the end of the race. And all I've got to do is just sort of stay out of trouble. As you can see, the screen recording for my, um, the stream. Um, but yeah, a horrendous start on mediums, to be fair. And here comes uh, Ace Spencer, I believe that is, down my inside. And they get caught up just behind another car, but here comes Absolute Carnage. And F1 GXL racing, the owner gets hit. And unfortunately... I have got orange or yellow wing damage. And as a man on mediums, that's not a fun thing. So, um, 
yeah, that's that's not the greatest. So I almost hit Etienne. Um, I think that's his name. Um, but yeah, um, I was debating what I should do with strategy here, and um, it is what I eventually decided to go on is hards to the end of the race from lap one. So uh, this will be very interesting. The DHL race at my house. That's a thirty second lap time. Um, but yeah, hard to the end of the race is going to be very, very difficult for me. Um, well, not just for me, for anybody. Um, but I sometimes have good, better, decent tyre wear. So um, we'll see how it goes. If we rejoin uh, just behind Chicken Rosa in the game, it makes me soft a bit. Uh, and Magma Beast, uh, Chicken Rosa is on medium, so I might be able to keep up with him. But Magma Beast is on soft and he's much faster than me. So um, yeah, that's. I don't think I'll be able to keep up with him. Um, yeah, heavy fuel and hards. I, I really can't imagine it's going to go very well. I have repaired my wing, so that's something. Um, miss the apex there, and I try and pretend it's quality that when it, it's in the race. I'm on really, really um, bad hards, cold hards, and for good measure, I've got a full tank of fuel, just like everybody else. So um, we're going to try and keep up with Chicken Rosary here. So I think I lapped him in Italy. Um, before I died. Um, no, I didn't laugh him. What am I on about? Um, yeah, Italy, I, 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 I did sort of die. Um, but moving on to lap three, then, there is a few runners in the pits, including F1 G Acceleration, who's going to rejoin just behind Chicken Rosary on what I believe is the medium compound tyre. And me and him on around this track, uh, in the race, we were... I, I, I don't... Well, he he was a lot faster, um, and here you can see he's only he's been holding up, held up, sorry, by Chicken Rosary, and um, in qualifying he was much faster, and it's a stark contrast between GXL Tier One Mexico, which I will keep referring back to in the Discord, um, and here, but uh, anyway, F1 GXL Racing goes for a lovely move up the inside of Chicken Rosary. And uh, I have DRS, and you'll see soon that Chicken Rosie does not. So I'm going to use a lot of the overtake in the slipstream of Chicken Rosie down to 50% uh, ERS. Now we're going to take a massive dive on, and I almost, almost hit F1 GX Racing, who thankfully takes avoiding action. But we've got past uh, Chicken Rosie, and we're into P18. Yeah, as I defend the inside. Uh, from Chicken Rosary, and I probably took that corner better than most, to be honest, to be honest. just taking that um, defensive line, um, I, I think it, well, faster than my other line, which was five years wide, but um, yeah, as you can see, I'm not, I haven't really got a lot of confidence in the car, um, as we move on, as F1 GXL Racing is uh, almost second up the road here, as I miss the apex, and F1 GXL Racing has spun it! Um, in the S section, and that's really unfortunate for him, but it puts us into P16 with Bryony in P18. As you'll see, we're going to move on to lap 5, and Bryony's already caught up Chicken Rosary. And you're going to see here the pace difference between Tier 2. In Tier 1, it was sort of you got, what, top 4, and then you've got the rest of us just sort of in a pack, and then you've got the back markers. Um, but in tier two, the pace difference really is extraordinary, and for me as well, as I take a very wide line, I see Bryony sending outside of the chicken rosary. So, um, while the wide line was intended, I am thankful I took the wide line this time, otherwise, I probably would have spun out. But we've got Mike V, VK21, who I believe did pit for lap one as well uh, as Toxic Squid, you see, pissing, which promotes us another phase, but. Mike has he has pitted for hard on lap one, and you'll see towards the end of the race is um I I I make this very easy for Brian. I know I'm not gonna be able to hold uh them behind for that long, um or at all because well they're on fresh mediums and I have the pace advantage as well. But we move on through the X section because I screwed up my screen recording, and um Bryony goes for a spin <laughs> into the barriers. So uh, that promotes me back up to um, P14. Uh, as we now move on, we've got Etienne behind us. This is lap nine. Um, as I take the again the shocking line, um, 
when I well, my confidence sort of plummeted after this um, after this race I was I hadn't done any practice I was shocking the whole race I had no pace and I was just sort of it was just sort of endless cycle being overtaken and I got God knows how many penalties DHO Bay to be fair does have 21 but um, we're going to try and defend this as you can see we're using our overtake uh, Etienne is on uh, or he's a faster driver and he's on fresher hards than mine uh, so we're going to try and go around the outside using first gear for a bit of rotation but Etienne with superior grip has got past so now we're back in P15 uh, it's just an end of cycle being overtaken really nothing else really goes on there's a chicken rosie somehow 24 seconds behind us not, not sure how that's happened uh, he was like five but you know um but yeah i did see a lot of drivers off after, after this race uh the top runners using third gear through there and on the hards as um there was a yellow flag uh i think dhl place has been disqualified so um that's just for getting too many penalties, which we did come close to, I think, in the end. Uh, but we're going to stick in such team as Etienne thinks I'm going to drain all the battery, which I, I give myself a little boost, but I don't I don't really want to overtake him, to be honest. There's our teammates in the pits. Um, as you can see, yet again, we do miss that apex. Uh, you can cut that a lot, which I didn't do throughout the weekend. Uh, map 10, we are in P14, no one near the points, and uh, it's been a pretty dismal one. Um, here we do hit the apex when it's exceeding trap limits so um as we cut the corner there also sorry for the um the change the slight change in um camera each time i, I could not get the um well basically i screen recorded it and then did it on iMovie and of course there was a gap so um as i get another exceeding trap limits an hour one nine seconds probably there we go 12 seconds there there's a uh, our sharky our teammate pits and uh, I think he's going on to the mediums, maybe the hards, I think it's probably the mediums, I think he did start the softs. Um, and where is he going to rejoin? He's going to rejoin, I think it's probably three seconds, but that would decrease as I go through the X section, because I've got literally no grip. And uh, it's it was a bit of shocking. Um, as I get another penalty there, that's 15 seconds of shark, he's right behind me. Um, and that missed apex again will not happen. By the way, I was doing that missed apex like every single hole, and Sharky gets an absolute god tier uh, moment of oversteer there. Because again, I'm running wide on this triple apex right. Um, going back to, uh, let's just watch uh, Sharky. Let's see, um, well, I've decided to defend this because I'm, I'm bored basically. Um, and I'm going to need some overtake. He has got DRS, but I'm going to slip back into the zip stream and I'm uh, going to send one up the inside. Sorry about that, Sharky. I, I, I'll break myself a bit and run a bit wide on the exit and Sharky gets positioned back. But uh, going back to what I was on about earlier, uh, um, I'm just going to show you my tyre wear at the moment, which is very high with uh, nine, ten laps to go. Very, very high. Um, but yeah, after this race, I wasn't feeling great because Luck had just won the championship and I was stuck there in P14. Um, yes, sorry I cut myself off there, but um, yeah, I, I, was, I wasn't feeling great. I was stuck in P13, P14 the whole race. Sergio racing pits onto the fresh softs. And uh, a newly joined member, Luck had just joined the academy team as well. And he was out there winning the championship. So um, yeah, I wasn't feeling great. But then um, Luca. The uh, QBR owner, and I'm going to go back to this. New QBR are the nicest people. Uh, mate, they not a driver could ask for. As we've got now, got GH Racing about to close the gap. But um, yeah, he came on and said, uh, "You may not be the fastest driver, but because you've got no assists, you are one of the most. You are uh, you are valued." And um, that really made my day. So um, yeah, that was nice. But uh, back to. Um, the fighter hand, I, I don't miss that apex as much there. I actually do something. I use first gear for the first time in my life around there. And it actually works. Um, so that's nice. But GH Racing is still with the DRS. Uh, fresh softs, of course. And uh, he was faster than me throughout the weekend. Uh, I didn't actually know I was going to race until... Well, well, not long before. But I do want to stay ahead during the S section. Just because I've got F1 GXL Racing also on fresh softs. Uh, F1 GX Racing has just asked if he can race today and uh, the answer will be yes once I get to him uh, sorry for the delay but you know 
um, as the stream does glitch a bit through there, which does look pretty cool. But, um, you know, um, GH Racing, we're only with six seconds. I've got 21 seconds. Now, Sharky's only, well, he's got seven seconds. Um, but you can see how much GH Racing is closing up here. I'm trying to give him space. He does cut back uh, to the inside, and I'm going to try the switch back. Uh, but he blocks off the apex, lovely, uh, very nicely indeed. But I'm going to use some overtake uh, because I don't really want this battle to end. But he has the DRS, but I have uh, slightly more ERS than GH Racing. I'm in the slipstream uh, just to go to the right. Do I have bad experience with the inside? I'm going to go down the outside on the um, the old hards, but yeah, he does get that move uh, kept. I think by this time, I can't actually see because the blooming voiceover on iMovie is dead. But yeah, by this time my tire my tires are well past sixty percent. As Mike Pitts, and um, it, this was significant because he's on the fresh softs, and um, well, this by this point my my tires are like 75 percent, eighty percent, nearing. So as I get uh, three like three second time penalty, at this point I didn't really care about the time penalties because I've got so many, and uh, Bryony was going to over overtake me again on penalties. But um, it's at this point that I had the choice between saving tyres and, well, pushing like hell. And um, naturally, as pushing like hell usually resulted in me dying, um, I decided to go with the save tyres option. Well, while also pushing like hell, this is literally as fast as I can go but while saving tyres. So uh, Mike currently sitting six seconds behind me. He's already closed up a second um, since he pitted as... Um, you got some action going on um, near the points, which I could say that. Uh, I'm going to go for points in Brazil, hopefully, but he's already gained another second on me just in that one corner. It's here in uh, Sector 2 that those fresh softs are really going to make a difference as I um, actually do something with those with that corner for the first time this weekend. I actually hit the apex as I lock up uh, on there. He's now six seconds now. We're back down to five. And... Um, Yes, again, a shocking missed apex there. Just not doing myself any favours whatsoever. And here we go. It's going to be through the triple apex right now. Heading on to the last lap of the race. And I imagine we're going to have a quick look at the um, the tyres. And it's by this time that the tyres, well, <laughs> they were at 80% or so. 80% uh, or so from lap one. I've taken these tyres from lap one off the Grand Prix because of uh, tyre wear and it's now that Mike is now three seconds behind me uh, and uh, he's gaining with every single corner and through the S section I'm going to lose so much here my hard tyres are now well past 80% and um, well he's, he's already gained another second just through the S section I'm actually only three tenths down on my personal best, I just have consistent these hard tires, even uh, how worn they are. And um, now it's down to less than two seconds here, heading into um, the corner for the last straight. This should be the only overtaking opportunity, and he's still one and a half seconds behind me. In um, he's gonna overtake me anyway, so is Bryony. But you know, uh, it's fun to have battle. As now uh, he's got a lot more ERS than me. And um, here, I this is literally the only time I do this corner well, um, like that, voila, uh, using all the track. And now it's it's one second. Now it's below a second as I miss that apex, which is not going to do me any good. I do decide to go defensive into this corner. I didn't want him to send, but he does go for the wide line. He goes for the switchback, and I don't get a great exit. He's going <laughs> round the outside of this triple apex right. I've got to lift off to give him some space, but in the end... His superior grip on those two lap old softs um, gets him past me. And we're going to take the checkered flag to come in P14, which isn't great, but there you go. So, 
there you have it. A well-deserved victory from Luck. Um, very, very good drive from him all through the season. Um, Flaniesta in the end, defenseless. Uh, I am going to start making more highlights as I get past my practice exams. Um, but until then, I'll be streaming um, F1 2020 uh, time trial. And then I'm going to go to... Well, F1 2020 Brazil GXL Tier 2. As you can ask, I understand you can only see a black screen. It's probably quite frustrating for you. Um, and also the P2 fight in PRL. I'll uh, be streaming that on Sunday in the GXL race on Saturday. Hopefully I can get my first point for GXL uh, Brazil. I I think my best is a 106.8, but I haven't practiced in a while. So uh, I'll probably be horrendous. But uh, there you have it. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.